So this weekend, I actually decided to spend what little free time I had going to an OpenAI hackathon. And that's because they just released GPT-5. So I wanted to get the free credits, but I also wanted to play around with GPT-5 and kind of see what its capabilities are. And that's really fun to do and also easy to do at a hackathon because you're literally just working on whatever project you want. It doesn't even need to be practical, but we had a ton of fun, learned a lot about its strengths and weaknesses. And so, yeah, here are some clips just taking you throughout the hackathon and kind of what we built. And yeah, here we go. Oh, I actually was like, when I was first cranking out this website, what I was doing is I had like, yeah, cursor, like max mode, like just cranking it out. But while I was like, while it was setting up the project, I was using cursor agents to like make UI edits in parallel <laughs> and then like, yeah. And then like later on when it got more complicated, I mean, I'm like kind of like BSing this a little bit, but like when it got more complicated, I would like then use like chat mode to create a plan and then fire off like sub agents with like each task. Yeah, that's why I had to like really make, I switched to like the planning thing where like I created the coding plan first and then like it like gave it the right context and then fired it off. Cause I think once we started like adding a bunch of code in, it like started to get considerably worse uh, or just more prone to errors. Maybe it was like a prompting issue too. No, I got an actual camera. So I have a separate like dedicated camera and then I have this one for like, when I'm like walking and then like, you know. We just finished up our demos. Is it got a vlog? I don't know. No, it's okay. It's always, it's always awkward. I just have to get rid of it. Get rid of the thing. So we just finished up our demos. We demoed bats, which I will show you later. And basically, the mouse was really slow, but otherwise it was pretty fine. The judges were very nice. They only got one question in, so I don't know how we're going to do, but we might stick around for the finalist demos and see what people built. And yeah, I don't know. I feel like I should have gotten more shots of like the coding and the action. Maybe, I, maybe I'll just like vlog what we built actually. Basically, we built a testing framework for our browser agents. And what it does is we can generate a website on demand. So generate a website with a login form. Basically, it's calling GPT-5. It's creating the markdown, searching for references. We're injecting a Tailwind CSS styling into it as well. And then once that's done, we can basically create a test case for our agent. This tells the agent how to pass the test case. And once we're done with the test case, we can see like where it clicked, where the actions it took. And basically, uh, see how it performed. And we also have this agent mode, which which will inject random UI elements as well, which is kind of fun. So it's just to trip up the agent, that like inject buttons, create pop-ups and whatnot. So we built that in 12 hours. It's kind of, the code's pretty horrible, so. So 